Nahos B. That's the one that's very important. And he's the one that uh, made it so that they became free again. He won them back. Nahos B. And that's what the word means, is he wins you back. <laughs> Among our people, there are words in that are, that are being forgotten. And one of those is uh, Na'ajosh. Most people don't know what the word Na'ajosh means. It means gambling. And it is that uh, when we talk about any of these uh, facilities and that that are located on the reservation, these gambling casinos, when the Diné talk about them, they say, which means where they play cards. And um, it's really that the language has been changed, but because they don't understand the word, it is that there are a lot of teachings on that associated with the word. And our old people used to say, which is that it is a, a, a moral danger uh, way to try to uh, live life. And uh, they say that it is not good. It is not good for the Dene to be involved in things of um, playing games of chance. And so the old story of uh, the Dene, when they encountered a an Asaza man, way back in our past history, that they called Nehospi, Nehospi. And it was that uh, most of the stories in that that are told about that individual is that the Asaza man was uh, winning uh, the freedom of uh, Dene, and he would get, they would gamble with him, and if they lost, he would then, they would then become his slave. And so it began with uh, one, one man that he decided he wanted to free some of the uh, slaves that were held by the Nasaza. And so he went over there with some of his uh, possessions, and he challenged the Nehokpi. Uh, and he says, I will gamble with you. If I win, I want to have those slaves freed. And so they began the game, but he didn't know that the uh, Nehokpi was a man of uh, not good character, that he would cheat and he would rig the games. And so anybody that challenged him in a game of chance, they would lose. And so that's what happened. And it became such a serious thing that the man pretty soon gambled off his family and gambled off his relatives and gambled off all of his belongings and he kept losing and losing and finally he put himself up and he lost. And so there were hundreds, perhaps even thousands of people that was won in the gaming, uh, with the, in the gambling with this uh, man. But the story here, that's about the extent of what uh, the net all of us, our people, understand that story to that point. But there is other, other information in that that they exclude. I don't know why that happened, but it is that they never talk about Nahospi. Nahospi is the one that was very young, good man. That was Dene. And he was the one that was asked, that's old Khan is what they say, which is to say that he was selected, especially because he was able to, he had many ceremonies in that, and that he would be able to work with the, uh, with the birds and the animals and other creatures and that to help him. And he was very good to the uh, other life forms. And so he knew ceremonies in that, but he also had a very beautiful wife very beautiful wife. He was a young man and knew all these ceremonies, and so they asked him to go and to challenge the Nehospi. Uh, and so it was that uh, he went and he challenged him after they had asked him to do it. 
And so it was that uh, through his special abilities and special skills that he was able to win back all of the uh, Dene that had been put into slavery. And there was many of them that they had been gambled off and they had, they had uh, when the gaming was taking place and that they lost to the Inasaza and so they became slaves, thousands of them. But Nahospi, that's the one that's very important. And he's the one that uh, made it so that they became free again. He won them back. Nahospi, and that's what the word means, is he wins you back. And so it was that the story is told that the Nahospi, the good young medicine man, Navajo, Dene, when he won all of those people back, he kept on winning and he pretty much took everything that uh, Nehospi had taken in his uh, rigged games. But because the uh, Nehospi, which is the Dene, when he kept winning, and he pretty soon the uh, Anas man had nothing. And somehow the story then continues on to where he was turned into an arrow and put into a bow and shot into the, into the uh, universe and where he came in contact with the holy people and he lied to the holy people and told them, you know, the, the net down there took advantage of me and robbed me of all of my wealth and all of my slaves. And they felt sorry for him and so they put him down further south, way down south somewhere, and let him and gave him back some of his wealth. So he lived out his life in that way. And those are the things that we are told about the gambler. Yeah,